Hi everyone, Patrick here with Red Six Race Gear coming at you with another product review. Today we're talking about the Sparco X Lite KS7 suit. Now this is a really high-end suit for people who really take their kart racing seriously. Uh, it's one of the suits that if you're somebody who's racing on a really regular basis, once a month, maybe even more than that, racing a shifter kart, racing something, you know, where you just really want to have the best suit possible, this is the suit for you. This is a super lightweight suit, is really the first thing you're gonna notice when you pick this up. Is the material on this is really unique. Uh, it's, it's still an abrasion resistant material. Of course, it is fully CIK FIA certified, so it's of course legal to race in any kind of kart racing that you're going to do. But the material is just a little bit different. Um, a lot of times when you, when you look at a, most karting suits, it's kind of this slick, real smooth material that almost kind of feels real sealed in, almost like a sleeping bag, kind of for lack of a better way to put it. Uh, this one's more of like normal threads meaning it's gonna flow a little bit of air through it. It's gonna have a little bit more movement. There's just a little bit of kind of give in this so that when you move around, it's not quite so restricting. Any suit is of course going to limit your movement just a little bit, but this uh, x Lite suit really does a great job of minimizing that. It does it in a few different ways. Pretty typical features like the full floating arms here. So you can see these arms are attached via a stretch type material here so that it can move all around. They're also curved a little bit. See how these arms are? perfectly straight down, they have a curve right about here. That's so that when you're in the cart, of course your arms are bent a little bit when you're on the steering wheel. It's gonna give you a little bit of a more natural feel. Uh, it also has a stretch panel here on the back. So this is on the lower back right here. So when you're sitting in the cart, it's gonna stretch along your back. It's gonna give you a little bit more comfort. When you're sitting there, it's not gonna bunch up on your back or pull on your shoulders. Believe me, I've been racing long enough to know that cart suits did not used to have these. So when you sat in the cart in the old days, your, your suit had to be like a size too big to keep from it pulling back on your shoulders. So nowadays you don't have that problem, which is really just like the biggest technological advancement in my opinion, has just been simply adding stretch panel back here. And uh, this one has a kind of a unique shape where it's flat on the bottom and curved on the top. It's just gonna give you just a little bit more movement. Uh, other, another thing to mention with these suits, these x Lite suits, is how many vents this thing has. If you're worried about staying cool in the summertime, if you race somewhere warm, Man, this is a great option for you. You've got vents here in the collar, so that's gonna allow all the air coming up through the other vents to exit out right up here at the top so that when you have this thing fully uh, Velcroed up, air is still gonna be able to get out of it. There's tons of people you'll see racing that are driving and they have this open to allow air out of it. Well, those days are over now if you have this suit because the collar is vented, so you don't need to drive with your collar undone or your zipper slightly down on your chest. Also has vents in the arms here right underneath the armpits, of course, letting some air in there. Has more vents down here in the thighs. There we go. See right there, those are really key to this because when you're sitting in the cart, that's gonna allow the air in, up through your chest and stomach, and out through the collar, so that way you've got air flowing through you. Keeps the suit from like inflating up and lets the air back out. So it's just gonna keep air flowing. It's not a matter of simply just getting air in there. Air has to get back out, so that way it can create a nice flowing motion to it. Suits are available in a bunch of different colors. This one here is really cool if you're somebody who maybe uh, raced a Tony kart or just likes kind of the Italian flag colors. Um, so, and it's of course available in the normal like black, gray, that sort of stuff. Um, but this one's pretty cool um, just because it's, it really stands out and it's unique. And this white, um, a lot of people get worried about a white suit that's gonna get dirty. And of course you're gonna have to take a little bit more care of it with white, but you're gonna be able to wash this thing. This material is gonna stay pretty clean. And there's a lot of different ways you can do that. Just always make sure a lot of people don't know this, that suits have washing instructions on them, just like your t-shirt does, right here. It tells you everything to do, wash it in cold water, you can iron it, um, you know, basically don't tumble dry. Pretty much suits are all the same. Wash them in cold water, let them hang dry for like two days, because there's a lot of material here, so they gotta, they gotta definitely have time to dry out. So this suit, these, this is again the Sparco x Lite KS7 suit. Um, this is really, like I said, this is gonna be really your top tier suit if you're a Sparco kind of guy. Of course, Alpine Stars has their own options as well as OMP. We'll talk about those in another review. But this Alpine, or excuse me, the Sparco suit is really a really great option. It's $550 is retail price on this one. It's one of those suits that you can buy and wear for years and years and years. So it's really an investment that you can make and feel good about it, not having a suit that you're gonna replace in a couple years when you go, oh man, I'm kind of, uh, gone past this with my kart racing. Now I need something that's a little lighter, breathes a little better. Maybe you got one of the lower end suits that's not certified. You know, buy a suit like this and it's gonna be able to take care of you all the way from sport karting, all the way up to shifter karts. You can race the Supernats with this thing. No problem whatsoever. You can go to Europe and race this thing. 
not a kart race on the planet that you would be able to enter and not have this suit be legal. Of course, that's uh, pretty standard for Sparco. So if, you're, if you really take your karting seriously, this is a great option for you. Can't recommend this suit enough. This is a, a really nice one here. So this has been Patrick with Red Six Race Gear. Thanks for tuning in to our Sparco X-Lite KS7 review. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And of course, this suit is available at red6racegear.com.